The West Tyrone DUP MLA, Tom Buchanan, has come under fire in the Ulster Herald for comments he allegedly made during a Northern Ireland Assembly Let's Talk event last week. The article says that Mr Buchanan told dozens of pupils that homosexuality is an abomination and that it is not right. Now, we've spoken to Mr Buchanan this morning. He told us his comments were actually in relation to the idea of gay marriage being equal to traditional marriage. And he says this is what he called an abomination. So the idea of gay marriage being equal to traditional marriage, the DUP MLA says, is an abomination. We asked him to come on to the programme today. Uh, He has declined to do so. Uh, he told us to ring his ring him back. When we ring him back now, he's not answering his phone. The Sinn Féin MLA Phil Flanagan was also on that panel at the event. Morning to you, Phil. Morning, Stephen. What do you make of these comments? Well, I think such comments have, have no place in our society. They're, they're very dangerous and they're wrong. There was um, about 130 um, people between the age of 16 and 18 in attendance at the audience to hear from politicians from, from all parties. Politicians need to be responsible in how they're engaging with people. Um, young people are very impressionable and they they they, they, they listen to what people say. Um, such comments are very dangerous um, and have a very negative impact on people. One of the startling... Well, he's entitled uh, to his views, which are biblically based. Well, his, his view is biblically based. And one of the points I made to him um, and made during the panel discussion was this comes from the same place in the Bible that tells you um, that also having a tattoo or a piercing or dye in your hair um, is against the law. But there's no call for the DUP to deal with these things. So they're going to pull these things out of the Bible from certain sections, but then ignore the other things that come with them uh, because they don't agree with them. But strikingly, 68% of the people in the audience, the young people in the audience, said that they knew somebody that they thought may take their own lives. Comments like this don't actually help that because one of the most at-risk groups um, of of self-harm and suicide is, is a gay, lesbian, bisexual and transgender young people um, and much more support well, needs to be given given to them particularly by politicians who need to show leadership on this very important issue well it's, it's just such a pity that uh, Tom Buchanan uh, has said this in front of school children but won't say it now in this programme in, in front of the general public and, and, and explain what he means by this we will try him again right now but you know I'll tell you what would be even more of a pity Phil Flanagan if MLAs were not able to stand up and publicly say what they believe in their, their constituents understand what they stand for and vote for them, and he has a mandate, and he's telling children that he does not equate gay marriage to traditional you know, straight people marriage. He's entitled to that view. He's fully entitled to hold that view, Stephen, and I wouldn't stop holding that view. But I think everybody, and each and every one of us, needs to be very careful in the language that we use, that it doesn't potentially hurt anybody. You know, saying that homosexuality or any part of it is an abomination, is very bad, um, sends out a very bad message to young people or to anybody else from that community. Um, there's clearly legislation in place that ensures that, that, that people from the lesbian, the gay, the bisexual and the transgender community should have equal rights um, and equal access to services. Um, and well, up until the court ruling, like, we've had the health minister um, banning gay people who, 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 from, from, from giving blood. Well, the, 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 prob- the problem with that decision by the health minister is that it's based on his um, theological outlook. It's not based on science. If he was genuinely committed to dealing with the whole issue of the risk that comes from blood donations, then he'd deal with it through the issue of screening, because all blood carries a risk, and all blood is screened and, and can be screened to deal with those. We uh, are still we are still looking, by the way, from the health minister, from the Department of Health, we are still looking and still asking for the expert advice that the minister based his decision on. Minister Poots, we are still looking for that expert advice that the taxpayer paid for to to lead you to make your decision. And we've asked for it, and we've been told we're not getting it, and we're asking for it again and again and again. Let's come back to this story. There will be many families, Phil Flanagan, up and down the country, who will be saying that that's exactly what they want their children to hear. That the traditional family is the is their belief, their way forward, and this is an MLA representing them. Well, th- that is one point, Stephen, but each and every one of us needs to be careful about the language that we use. Did you he get much support at the event? He, he got very little support. The, the, the overwhelming majority of people um, responded negatively by booing. Um, there was definitely... Um, a minority of people that supported the comments he made. Well, here's Norman um, supporting and, and, him. Norman, morning, Norman. 
Morning, Stephen. Stephen, what he says is right, but I think it's sad when a DUP minister cannot come on the radio not a minister. and stand up for what he says. He's like some of these ministers hiding behind their religious collar and won't come out and say that. It is a sin. It's an abomination, and children should be told it's a sin because that's what the Bible clearly states. That it is abomination, homosexuality. Well, Liam, Liam has just emailed me and he says, I'm not from the gay community. I just find it absolutely sickening that politicians use their positions of power.